Hello, hello. I am going to do my official intro as soon as my stream starts on YouTube, which sometimes can be a tiny bit laggy. Wait, wait, wait. I think it actually did it. What? Sweet. All right. Let me just check one more time because I'm of the paranoid sometimes. And why isn't it showing my face? Hmm. Maybe it's not doing it right. Who knows? Hello, video. Why aren't you showing properly? Ah, there it is. Cool, 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 cool. Awesome. So, welcome to Radical Books and Politics. I'm author Maria J. Strada or Hesu to my friends. Today, I am so excited and I've been carrying just a teensy bit of guilt. <laughs> One of the things I love to do in Radical Books and Politics is to interview authors of all different kinds of genres. They don't have to necessarily be political authors. It's just that my love of books just stems into uplifting writers. And one of the ways I can do that is to introduce them through my channel. So today I am super, super happy to have Gregory Webb, a fantastic nonfiction writer on the show. I tried to have him before a few times and the interview guys just were not with us, which never happens to me, but I'm going to get him on. He also lives in Italy. So I'm super excited to be able to get him on this morning because I don't have morning office hours. What? Yes, and I already have my class plan ready. So anyway, I'm super stoked about that. But I also have a few other intentions as ever. I um, am editing a couple of books. And so besides doing that amazing interview, I am editing Nation, which is uh, a short anthology that's being put up by my own body, Blues Press. It is a charity anthology, and the proceeds are going towards the Chicago Freedom School, which is a fantastic organization. And I'm also editing Unity. So I've been sending out the link slowly to the writers. Uh, we're working on the poetry as well. Unity is the first ever magical realism anthology that is being put out again by Bobby Blues Press. And the charity that is going to get the proceeds for that is Doctors Without Borders. So I'm super excited because that book is almost done being edited. And I'm just, you know, it's going to be brilliant. I have a fantastic editorial team behind me, the supporting, like, um, Jimena Sean Klimek. I should say her last name. Jimena Escobar Sean Klimek. Uh, Daniel Brooks is head of the poetry division. Priti, who does amazing promotional work and also helps with the art division. And then also Elaine, who um, she's just a fantastic copy editor. So I, I can ask for a better team to help with this work. Nation I'm doing by myself, but I have my comrade Lou Rosenbaum, who has a beautiful poem in there called Cooperation Day. They won the 4th of July prize for a small contest we had in a group I run on Facebook called Pen in the City. But Lou Rosenbaum, who is a master poet in his own right, is going to be writing the introduction to Nation. So I can't wait to see that. And Lou, if you're watching, peace and love, brother. Sending support, because, you know, he's been a touch under the weather, but hoping he's doing better. So... The other thing is, we're also impact bargaining. Who'd have thought the impact bargaining would be so long? But we have to continue to promote the safety and welfare of educators and students. And I am ever concerned that the district where I work, I work in the city colleges of Chicago, that they're not notifying employees in a timely manner when there's been an infection. There have been two COVID cases at Harold Washington where I work. And I really think they have to have a better protocol of quarantining and testing if people have been exposed. So we're arguing for other, you know, other points like added hazard pay for, well, it's not called hazard pay. Like getting extra pay if you're an essential worker and going into the building because the security officers, part-time professionals and the faculty really, you know, they're, they're risking their lives. But it's really for professionals who are on an hourly wage. They were advocating for them to get paid more because they are risking their lives, you know. But we're constantly praying. I'm constantly praying for everybody's safety, the safety of students, the safety of the community. And one of my dreams is that the fair tax gets passed in Illinois. We're trying to promote the fair tax. So the social services will be improved because one of the most egregious things about the state of Illinois is how it has defunded public services, not just education, health services. So one of the reasons the Department of Health in Chicago is so awful is because they don't have the money for it, allegedly, even though they have so much commerce in Chicago. So my goal is that once we could, you know, get our employees taken care of the city college, we make this like fight broader so we can get the fair tax pass, social services, good funded schools, 
all these things that are necessary to have a quality life and quality health care. Sorry, my cat just like, she just ran under there. My cats are so weird. Anyway, so that's what we got going on, and I'm so excited. I never thought I would say this, guys, but I don't know. I guess, like, I'm growing as a human being. I love editing. I would never have said that two years ago, but I think the reason I love editing is because it's not my work. It's I'm editing the work of the contributors that are so amazing, and the editing is towards a better cause than just publishing. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I love the entire writing process now. So we'll see. <laughs> Took a while. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are having a fantastic Thursday. I'm excited. So, well, technically, it's my weekend. You know, the weekend is starting, even though we have meetings and work to do. Um, so, hey, somebody just woke up. Hey, little. Number three, Princess just woke up. Actually, you're number two, Princess. Uh, 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 you're not wearing clothes, darling. Jeez. Anyway, <laughs> we shall not speak of that. <laughs> okay. Thank you, as ever, for being so supportive. Keep your eye out for the interview that's happening in a couple hours via Rome. Do what you love to the max. Read as many books as you can and write on. Peace.